Looking at the bright side, we can kind of see the buildings downtown now. 15 minutes ago, that wasn't possible. The rain was so heavy, so the rain has become a little bit lighter from Birmingham on northeast. Now the other side, the west side of Birmingham, it's still pouring down rain. We had a couple thunderstorms merge and come together. A lot of rain over the eastern part of the area. It is slowly diminishing over places like Talladega County, Clay County, Calhoun County too. Then we have a lot of thunderstorm action right now in Bibb County, a big outflow boundary coming out of the Shelby County rain that caused flooding in Alabaster, and that's now forming new thunderstorms at Bibb County. I-22 is a mess all the way from the city of Birmingham on northwest Jasper. It's just raining. It's raining everywhere in that zone. Not a good place to be right now traveling. Okay, close up view. Here's the breakdown basically. The worst of it now is west of Interstate 65. Not quite so bad on the east side of 65. It's still raining, but it's not raining as hard. Places like Montclair Road have the rain has diminished quite a bit around Homewood. Now the rain is beginning to diminish too. the heaviest stuff is back here to the west Fairfield getting tremendous rains. Also the western part of Lakeshore Parkway Jefferson Avenue Southwest Vestavia is kind of a mixed bag on the east side. It's still raining, but not as hard on the west side. It is still coming down very hard. And finally, we go into Bibb County around West Blockton down towards Centerville. This whole area getting thunderstorm action that's likely to be significant for the next hour or so. We have some flood advisories in effect for Shelby County, as you can see, but all these counties are under a heat advisory for tomorrow. We'll begin to shift the focus away from the rain toward the heat, which is going to be pretty bad. 81 degrees at 7, 78 at 9, diminishing rain chances during the night. Our short-term model forecast shows the storms tonight gradually diminishing by 10 o'clock. Not much left overnight, basically rain free conditions. And here's the deal tomorrow. We start off with sunshine. We go through our Wednesday and most of the rain winds up being over the southern part of the state. That turns out to be the case with more sunshine and the already high levels of humidity out there. It's going to be sweltering, so the heat index going to be a major problem, not only tomorrow, but Thursday and Friday, too. It's going to feel like about 105 because of the heat index. 94 tomorrow, 97 air temperature Thursday and Friday. Then over the weekend, thunderstorm chances come back in the forecast. That continues next week. I'm holding out hopes that for next Tuesday, a week from today, it might actually feel much better outside.